Afternoon folks and welcome back um Gummer's gardening page. Um what I'm gonna do a video today because I didn't feel like I'd done much work but looking back on it I feel like I've done quite a fair bit actually. Um what you'll notice straight away is my polytunnel swap sides and on that side I built a little chicken coop because now the chicken shed is going to be turkeys are going crazy. My chicken shed is going to be my actual shed now. I figure it's going to be the easiest way. I've got some of them coops at home, so I'm just going to bring one of them up and put that on, on site. I've made a temporary compost area. It's going to be my permanent compost area, but I've just made it tempor temporarily out of just some little bits of wood until I can get some um, like chicken wire type stuff to go around it. Um, I've done it. I've planted some onions. I've got my seeds in my house, on my windowsill, my kelsies um, They're going fine, they're all sh they've all come up 100% uh, My chillies at home haven't come up yet on windowsill And I've got some sets in my greenhouse But with my leftover sets I've just come and potted up two beds uh, Some red barren and some stuttgards So some white and some red I have covered another two of my... Oh, in fact, I don't even know if I've shown you that I've covered my beds at all yet. In, I've covered some of my beds up with that um, black membrane stuff. It's, it's cheap, I've just had it all lying around. And I've put some netting over the two beds with onions in. In the hope that rabbits don't rip them up because they've nibbled on my garlic, so I'm presuming that they're starting to come on and try and find food, basically. Um, right, let's show we go. Oh, I've um, dug in some posts. Uh, for this polytunnel in the hopes that if it gets bad I can oh, I'm gonna string string it down like and hopefully that'll keep on top of it. Uh I've been digging quite a fair bit as well. I've been plodding along, banging out about twenty minutes a day. Best I can do. I'm just tidying up plot in general, ready to get going. What I'll do is uh without wasting too much of your time now, I'll crack on. I w I wasn't gonna do one but I was watching videos early and decided I'll do one. I saw uh, bills so but I'll have a bash. Right, I'll show you my plot now. We shall start off by facing my chicken shed, like I told you, is now going to be my actual shed. Um, I don't know if you can see inside, but same on that side. I'll just use it in storage a minute. But um, that, on both sides, it was just done in. Oh, really poor with it all fell to pieces. Anyway, this is going to be my new. You me wobbly about while I walk backwards no chicken coop as you see the sticks that are quite high I'm gonna use the the netting and net it all don't get me wrong obviously I know chickens can get out of that area this just like border marking let's to basically say I'm just gonna stick a coop in there in that area cording it all off so they can't get out and that's gonna be them and that's that as he says and this side, I've got my polytunnel now. I'm hoping it's going to be a lot safer there, wedged in between my shed and obviously the fence. So that'll be getting put up by April. I started digging inside of that for now. So I'm hoping it's going to be a lot more secure there. And as you can see, I put these posts in. I like my gloves from Wilco's Ladies Gardening Gloves. A bit tight, but they're all right, 10 pence each. So I've got them posts in. I'm going to stick some nails in so I can rope all up the top. Um, this is my little compost area I was telling you about. As you can see, it's got two compartments. So I'm just going to hopefully, over the season, fill that one and then move on to that one, start filling that one. Hopefully, come next year, the stuff in the bottom of there might be alright. But I've just done it just what, with some old chicken wire I found for now. And that'll do me for now. Uh, this area, I'm thinking about another possibly in the next couple of years building a greenhouse there but we shall see oh, it's like times change this is what I was telling you about my um, beds the ones with the blue or green netting they've got the onions in you can just see the white ones so we shall see the netting's only on for birds that's all it's that's that the um, garlics are coming along nicely I've just um, tidied a few up, pulled a few up, and then um, my strawberries seem to be okay, they're not dead. My rhubarb, that patch has not come up yet. That one's coming up now, you can see it. This is the area I've been digging over. 
it's just had a rough turnover for now as you can see it's a fair bit it's about a third of plot a third of my growing area but i'll just keep plodding on and then when give it that a week or two to all we to all roots get caught on frost and i'll turn it all again and again and just keep doing that um i've left a little path in the middle you can't really see it because it's overgrown, overgrown grass that's going to be my path and i'm hoping that this side what i've dug up is where i'm going to have fruit bushes all the way down because like i said that's going to be a seating area it's going to be a flowered area and this is probably going to get put into beds at some point when when money comes around we're just going to contract it work so it should give me a bit more hours Couplings have gone into administration and only keeping 30 of the stores open and we've took contract on for haulage of them so it gives us a lot more hours which is good um, I'm hoping that over the next month all these weeds are going to die back and I'm just going to give it all a good rake over and then I'm hoping with traffic of me walking on it's going to keep it down but if not I'll just put some weed block down or something like that <clears throat> So I'm thinking this is going to be a better idea than using the chicken shed and then trying to source a shed. So I'll have to let me know what you think. Do you think it's worth keeping that as a chicken coop and just adding that a little bit extra over there it's just so they can get into that little outdoor play area? Or should I do what I think I'm going to do and just have a little coop? I'm not having many chickens, maybe only three or four. And then I can use that as a tool shed or a potting shed. Right. That's going to be it for me, because I've got, I'm just going to go and see a fellow who's quitting his allotment and see if I can poach, a, poach some stuff off for him. Alright, as usual, cheers guys, I'll catch you all later. See ya.